Thank Lost you. in Space is cool. Good. And now it's a very, very great um, remake and I'm so excited talking Aww. to you. So how much fun was it for you uh, shooting all this in this uh, seven months journey? Well, it was a mixed bag, wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, it, it was um, great working with the kids. And yeah, they're amazing. Pretending to be this family. I, lo I really, really loved that. But there was some, you know, we were doing a lot of location shoots out in Vancouver, up mountains, in very cold, wet conditions, wearing very uncomfortable spacesuits. They look time. great, the spacesuits, but they're quite torturous. Yeah, great aesthetic, but it's really <laughs> not, not pleasant. But so it was, it was it, of course, it was great fun, but it was hard work at times. I mean, all, all shoots have their own difficulties in a way, and, and, and this one did turn out to be much more sort of physically arduous than I had expected, but... Uh, yeah, you just but, thought we were going to be in a studio. Yeah, I thought it was going to be easy, but uh, it was pretty tough. But the thing that actually is just, you know, I think what that brings to the show is the sort of cinematic mm -hmm. scope because we were out on location and we were um, on the top of mountains and, you know, it was, it's quite a spectacular looking show, which, uh, which I think is wonderful for the storytelling. If you would go on a journey, to another planet, what would you take with you? That's such a good question. Uh, what? Well, uh, okay, <sighs> music, books, uh, my son. Yes, yes. <laughs> Third, no. Um, I would love. I, w I would love a Jupiter. I think that's such a great idea. It's like a kind of. That's our it's space. Like that's a, our it's like a kind of thirty spaceship. years in the forward. That's thirty years in the in the future. That's what it's like, kind of, you know, I'm one of those massive camper vans, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can fly around in it, but also you can set up camp with it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is pretty fun. I the, definitely the, want one of those. The set that they built is massive and just so beautifully crafted. And mm. so you really are on this spaceship. Um, and because we were working with these kids, they're just sort of infectious with their excitement for, you know, between takes being flying. in the cockpit and pretending that they're flying and that part was really fun. Mm. And I love collecting behind the scenes stories. Maybe you have some nice, um, funny things um, from behind the cameras for me, some things uh, that maybe should go wrong a little way and so should <laughs> not, or some weird <laughs> things during this uh, production. I have one thing where we went up, there was one point um, where we went up to this glacier um, above Vancouver and it was right up this mountain and it took us hours to get to this place it was pr it was pristine uh glacier N no one was there it was absolutely stunning but it was this really sunny day and uh we we were there for about five six hours and um my makeup the lady space helmet had on? neglected no i didn't have the space helmet on i just had had the, my just my normal regular look and Anyway, the the the, the costume, uh, the uh, makeup woman hadn't put any sun barrier on me. So, like the next day, I literally I had sunburn under my chin, like because from the from the sun bouncing off the thing and above my eyes, just here, which I'd never had sunburn there before. But and also Max, bless him, he just had it on one side of his face. <laughs> uh. Do you have an equal story? So it's. You know, it's so extraordinary to make something where you're, uh, you know, flying on cables in front of green screens. I have never done any of that before, and all of that was really fun. But in the first episode, the ship is supposed to crash into a glacier on an angle. And when they built this ship, they actually built it so that it would, I mean, this massive set would rise on an angle so we could shoot on an angle, which when the cinematographer first stepped on, he realized, I mean, he was gonna be sick. It's sort of, you can't actually shoot, you can't put the crew on an angle and do that. So instead, we had to do these scenes where I would literally like have to walk, <laughs> wa walk through the scene on an angle like this, but like, get the harpoon, you know, it's, and you just feel like an absolute, Idiot. Idiot. But it's quite... <laughs> Hopefully it looks really good. Yeah, you sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> silly. Okay. 